Now to a controversy stemming from Sunday night's Miss USA competition. Miss California, the eventual first runner-up, was asked a question about same-sex marriage. Did her answer cost her the competition? We'll talk to the judge who asked her the question and Miss California, Carrie Prejean, in just a moment. But first, today's national correspondent, Amy Robach, has the story. Amy, good morning to you. Good morning, Matt. And billed as a night of glamour, this year one beauty contestant's politically charged comment is what's grabbing the spotlight. The new Miss USA 2009 is North Carolina. On Sunday night, Miss North Carolina was crowned Miss USA 2009. Please take your first walk as Miss USA 2009. Christmas but it wasn't the crowning moment, the evening gowns, or swimsuits that have people talking about the competition. Instead, an exchange between the first runner-up, Miss California, and Judge Perez Hilton has sparked a debate over same-sex marriage. Your question comes from judge number eight, Perez Hilton. Vermont recently became the fourth state to legalize same-sex marriage. Do you think every state should follow suit? Why or why not? In my country and in, in, in my family, I think that I believe that a marriage should be between a man and a woman. No offense to anybody out there. but that's Some did take raised, offense, including the openly gay Hilton, who said Monday he was floored by the response. She gave the worst answer in pageant history. The self-proclaimed queen of all media said if the California beauty queen had won, he would have gone up on stage and taken her crown. She's a dumb Prejean's home state passed Proposition 8 last November, which changed California's constitution to outlaw same-sex couples from getting married. Pageant organizer Donald Trump seemed to hint that the candid comment might have cost Miss California the competition. I probably did cost her the crown in that, although I don't know that, but uh, I assume Perez probably gave her a pretty low vote and that would have brought her average down. The controversy is the latest internet sensation from a beauty pageant. I believe that our ed education, like such as in South Africa and uh, the Iraq, everywhere like such as. The dress is so tight around your waist, you can hardly breathe and you don't want to mess up, and then that's the one thing you do. Claudia Jordan is a former Miss USA contestant and was another one of the judges at Sunday night's competition. A few of the judges were really against her. You know, they were really bothered by her answer. Jordan, who supports same-sex marriage, says there's a lesson to be learned. And pageants, just like in politics, it's probably best to just give a neutral answer where you're not committed to one side or the other, if you want to win. But in an interesting twist, compare what Miss California said Sunday a marriage should be between a man and a woman with what then candidate Barack Obama said during the campaign. I believe that marriage uh, is the union between a man and a woman. So what may be politically correct in a presidential campaign does not necessarily appear to be the correct answer in a beauty pageant. Matt. Amy Robach, thank you very much. Celebrity blogger and Miss USA judge Perez Hilton is in Los Angeles via Skype. Perez, good to see you. Good morning. Good morning, Matt. So, so your question to Miss California during the Miss USA pageant has touched off a bit of a firestorm, as you know. Just tell me why you decided to ask such a politically charged question in the first place. Well, I thought it was a great opportunity for me to ask a question that was very relevant. And considering everything that's been going on in our country with regards to gay marriage, I thought it was extremely important. And the other judges also asked very heated political questions. In fact, the winner, Miss North Carolina, was asked about government money, taxpayer dollars being uh, lent for the bailout to big corporations. And she didn't have an easy question. A lot of the other questions weren't easy either. Well, you know, you know the, the running joke, Perez, is that traditionally in pageants like this, contestants are asked questions that allow them to come up with answers like, I want world peace and I like puppies and kitties. This was a very polarizing question. Did you expect Miss California to come up with a more middle-of-the-road answer, perhaps straddle the fence a bit, and even perhaps be politically correct? Or did you expect her to speak her mind? I expected Miss California to have been prepared for that question, especially because she is Miss California, the state that recently passed Proposition 8, banning gays and lesbians from marrying. So I was hoping that she gave a better answer. Basically, the job of a judge is subjective, but usually it's, you know, about looks and her figure and her talent. 
Are we ushering in a new era here, Perez, where we're going to these contestants are going to be subjectively judged on political and moral and religious beliefs? I hope not, Matt. I personally would have appreciated it had she left her politics and her religion out because Miss USA represents all Americans. I think I gave her the easy way out. She could have answered that question so many different ways. She could have said, well, I want to leave my politics out of the question, and I think that it's important for the states to make those decisions for themselves. And I think that would have been a better answer than the one that she gave because Because the answer she gave alienated myself, millions of gays and lesbians, their friends, their family, their co-workers, and their supporters. And Miss USA is not a person that's alienating. Miss USA is not a person that's politically incorrect. Miss USA is someone who represents me, who represents all America, and is inclusive, and who will give the right answers. But Perez, she also should be a person who stands by her beliefs. Or do you want someone who just panders to judges? I want someone who is going to be politically savvy, and that means uh, saying things that will make everyone feel welcome. Like, for example, you know, she's a Christian, but I don't want her talking about Jesus, 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 because that's offensive to all of the Jewish Americans, to all of the uh, Muslim Americans, to all of the atheist Americans. It's about balance. It's about finding the perfect Miss USA. And unfortunately, Miss California was not the perfect Miss USA. Perez Hilton. Perez, thanks for joining me this morning. I appreciate it. My pleasure. Miss California, Carrie Prejean, good morning to you. Good morning. Thank so you for having me. So he wants you to be the perfect Miss USA. He wants you to answer questions in a way that sounds good to all Americans. Is he giving you an impossible task? I, I think he is. You know what, Matt? I was on that stage that night, and I was so excited to be there. I was competing for Miss USA, and I was called into the top ten into the top five and I was standing there and and you know I was ready for my question and and when I heard it from him I knew at that moment after I had answered the question I knew that I was not going to win because of my answer because you had spoken because from your I heart had spoken from my heart from my beliefs and and for my God well okay so let me ask you this so if I were to and I won't ask you but if I were to ask you the very same question right now and say you get a do-over on this how badly do you want to win that title would you have answered it differently no I wouldn't have answered it differently um, I think that the way that I answered it you know might have been offensive to people and I said and no offense to anybody I did not want to offend anybody but I think with that question specifically uh, it's not about being politically correct. For me, it was being biblically correct. He, he says he hopes this doesn't usher in an era where contestants are subjectively judged on on religious or moral or political beliefs. And I think it's unfortunate that a lot of pageant girls, uh, you know, they have the pressure. Like Claudia Jordan said, she was one of the judges. She was great. Uh, she said that, she, you know, I should have been more in the middle. I shouldn't have given a specific answer. But that goes against what I stand for. And when I'm asked a specific question, I'm going to give a specific answer. I'm not going to stand in the middle. I'm going to take one side or the other. Kara, you you came so close. I did. I did. And uh, and I am I'm so proud of myself. And I have so many people that are so proud of me. And um, it wasn't what God wanted for my life that night. That's the way you explain it to yeah. yourself. And you wouldn't change a thing. I wouldn't change a thing. I wouldn't be here right now with you if I were to be Miss USA. So I know that I have a purpose, and um, I don't. I don't take back what I said. I was true to myself, and I know now that I can go out and 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 speak to young people about standing up for what you believe in, and never compromising anything for anyone or anything, even if it's the crown of Miss USA. Good luck to you. Thank you very much. Thanks, Carrie. We appreciate it.